Okay. Like I get uh, 12 points per game and I lose like 30. Oh, okay, that's good. Then we can. Yeah, okay. This one was also tragic. Some days. Okay, here he has another stack. Which minions should you auto attack here? The one that I'm currently attacking, the first melee. With. When can can Trash get the minions? Below 30%. So, what are you trying to do right now? I'm trying to give him the stack buster. Yes, perfect. So, you hit that, and the next auto attack should be on what? On the next melee. Yes, so let's see if you're gonna do it. Or you see, you do it yeah. on caster. So, if you play it better, you're gonna get level 2 advantage. And then here you should take step back, he exhausts now. Because your exhaust was not only yeah. that you missed it, but as you can see, it was so late. It's already late now. You should exhaust like That's a second now. Look at this. This is super delayed, look. What's going on guys? Besides here into this video, we are going to learn the most important fundamentals that will get you out of low elo. Wave management, recall timings, macro techniques and more will be displayed in this video. So make sure you watch till the end. The tips can be applied for any rank. Remember that what you're seeing right now is a premium personalized coaching session. This guy booked his coaching with me when he was hard stuck in silver 2 with around 45% win rate. Right now, after around 2 weeks, he climbed instantly to gold too just from one coaching session this is another person that climbed from platinum to master tier with my coaching here is another guy gold to master tier currently actually pushing for grandmaster with my coaching are you tired of feeling stuck in your current rank and unable to climb the ladder or do you find yourself struggling to convert winning games and make progress if you're serious about improving League of Legends and you want to get your gameplay to the next level go ahead and book your own personalized coaching session and start instantly i'll see you uh, did you change your account or yeah I okay did. okay okay did you get banned or something no i have stuck it after 10 defeats in a row <laughs> oh, okay 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 this one is also tragic but uh, so you're planning to not play on this account anymore i will keep it for bad days i guess i will play on it okay 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 and what's the reason why you think it's the it's hard stuck uh because of those defeats okay like i get uh, 12 points per game and I lose like 30. Oh, okay, that's good. Then we can we can give it up if it's like this. I mean, you can play so from time to time on it. Yeah, okay. This one was also tragic. Some days. Okay, 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 okay. So how how is you tell me more about your performance now compared to the before the first coaching session? I definitely fight more in a game. Like usually I fight six or seven times the team and we won. We win. Okay. A lot more the team fights, but the game is lost uh, late game actually. There is a problem, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay. okay, 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 okay. So there is a problem with this win rate, 40%, and it feels like you yeah. have a tendency to like get accounts to negative win rate, which means yeah. we're probably playing, like you play a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Do you take breaks? Like how do you play? How What's the strategy? Uh, I do take breaks if I'm getting angry. If you're getting angry, I see. Yeah, only then. And uh, when I work, it's, <laughs> I cannot play when I work. Okay. Mm. You play in some days like more than six, seven games. It is it is impossible for you to keep a very strong, consistent performance. Mm -hmm. You know, because your attention span is gonna go after four games. You're gonna be autopilot. So the reason why you have this on two accounts could be tilt uh, and mental 100% but could also be how you how much you play the strategy as in my strategy is I play four games in a row and if I have only wins I play more if I lose one game I take a break of 30 minutes and I come back again mm -hmm. and then play again the 30 minutes break is going to help you to refresh your mental because if you keep playing and playing and playing and playing one you'll be tilted easier two you're going to become autopilot like there are only disadvantages to this in play here about with it perfect 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 so do you have a stable champion pool you do right i kind of yeah it's usually usually a kaisa and twitch okay this account you started from zero zero yeah it was in emerald 3 but it had uh, like i did not expect it to have uh, I am MR, like I played with a challenger <laughs> one time too. Last time we said mid game macro, you had a tendency to not group a roll. Okay, this is big. Then recall timings. We should do a live game today and then a little vote review of the live game, or should we just analyze the game that you just played? Um, or an another game if uh, you think it's good. I think this one with Kaisa is one of my best games. So. No, really? Yeah. Okay, then we can just do that. We can definitely do that. A uh, good game is consistently being able to deal damage against their team, like Fiddlesticks, Jax, Pantheon, and mechanically playing the fights well. Okay. The lane wasn't really, it was even, I believe. 
Okay, 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 okay. A good game for me, it's like a steamroll. Uh, any reason why I took exhaust here? I took exhaust to protect myself from Jacks and Pantheon. Okay. If they flash, if they, if they flash on me, also Blitz Hook, I can exhaust the Jinx. Okay, is there any other option here? Could be Cleanse, yeah. Okay, what do you think the difference between them? I lose lane if I took Cleanse, but uh, I'm more safe in teamfights. Yes, 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 yes. So then you have to ask yourself if you want to play for lane. Yeah, because, that's what I, uh... Because the thing is, Cleanse helps you in the later stages more, but if you think about the exhaust in the lane, it's like, okay, I'm gonna exhaust Jinx, which is okay, you know, but she's not Tristana, she's not gonna have, like, burst. And at the end of the day, if Jinx is gonna hit the Champers, you can also cleanse. Because in the lane, Blitzcrank Jinx have high counterplay, but later stages you get Flash W by the Pantheon, or uh, ulted by Fiddle, you're always, almost always dead. Yeah, I actually didn't even get one Fiddle ult. Yeah, yeah okay. That's yeah. why I like it. <laughs> That's good, if, you, if you're super confident that you're not gonna get... Uh, that, that, that's not bad, but I will show you why you're not getting getting that, because you're not doing damage in the fight, you're not like, really walking up and doing damage, so another problem came, we're gonna see soon. Because uh, if you play the fights properly, you will have to overextend a bit sometimes, so then Fiddle Seek will have some openings, but that's not the end of the world. You leash here, that's fine. Did you think about to like ask him to not leash, or...? No, not really. Okay, do you ever do that? Uh, actually, mostly the last 50 games, let's say 80% of my junglers started blue, so it was nice. But when they start red, I actually do not. Mm, I, I see. Can, uh, I can go to straight to the lane. Yeah, you can definitely ask if, if it's a matchup where you think priority is super important. You can definitely ask, is it okay if we don't leash because we lose the lane if we do leash? Like Caitlyn Morgana or Caitlyn Senna in the enemy or Ezra Lux or something that you need priority against. Mm -hmm. In terms of Jinx, Kaisa. A challenger player will ask because Jinx, if she if she's human, she's always gonna like punish you really hard with the Q. But in this elo, yeah. Jinx Blitzcrank is not really that scary. So okay, that's good. So you just play it slow. You're not using Q on the minions, which is really good so far. And now we need to just push. That's good Q. We try to push for level two, and we end up uh, losing it. Okay. Ah, exhausted. The Blitzcrank by mistake. Yeah. Let's see. So you try to push. This is good. What minions do you hit here though? So you go in the lane, you hit the front minions, that's fine. That hit the back minions, that's fine. Good Q, and then you try to hit the midis. Okay, yeah, you, you, okay. That minion, did you see that? Look at this. So, which minions should trash get? Which minions? The melees. I, yes. Uh, yeah, the melees. Okay, and when can he get those? When they are, of course, when he has the relic stacks, and when they are below half HP, I think. Yes, below 30% HP. So, because so, he's a range, so... Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, trash is range. Below 50% if he's melee. Okay. Yeah, so you see no, that... I didn't know that. I know, because playing support is gonna help you to understand both better. So you, you see why I think last time I recommended you to play some support. So, this is fine. You auto-attack this minion, you see this? You did not auto-attack this minion because he got it. Okay? Here he has another stack. He has another two stacks. So here, which minions should you auto-attack here? The one that I'm currently attacking, the first melee with half HP. Okay. I think, what did I attack? Didn't I? No, I didn't. So, when can can Trash get the minions? Below 30%. Actually. So, what are you trying to do right now? I'm trying to give him the stack faster. Yes, perfect. So, you hit that, and the next auto attack should be on what? On the next melee. Yes, so let's see if you're gonna do it. Or, you see? Well, you do it yeah. on caster? Yeah. So if you play it better, you're gonna get level 2 advantage at the same time, here. And yeah, so focus melee is always... Yes. Well, usually, yes. Unless it's impossible. And then here you should take step back, exhaust now. Because your exhaust was not only yeah. that you missed it, but as you can see, it was so late. It's already late now. You should exhaust like that a second now. Look at this. Yeah. This is super delayed, look. Wow. Wait. Oh, wait. You exhaust? Let's see. You should exhaust. I did, yeah. Now, now you should exhaust. Because see, you're not using exhaust. You're using exhaust. Now, now you're using exhaust. Yeah, but now she already got one attack on the trash. He would have been fine here. Yeah, yeah, I missed the exhaust. Yeah, okay, so this is micro, micro mechanics. Then you stay. This is good. This is all good. We stay in the lane. Oh, okay. This is a problem. Okay. What did you recall here? Tell me more about it. 
Because uh, I thought I won't have time to shove the next. Uh... Okay. She's already in base now. She's coming. Yes. She's, uh... It's not on the first threat. A little bit behind the inhibitor, I think. Okay. I thought then, and uh, I try to match her by as fast as I can with the long sword. Okay, good. So how is the wave right now? The wave is pushing towards them. True. Slow pushing. Slow pushing. So how do you feel about that? Bad, of course. What other options do you have or alternatives? Staying or sh shop or stacking two waves. So what is... I don't think I can push fast enough. Okay, good. So staying or recalling instantly? What's the advantage of recalling instantly? Five dollars! If you have problems improving and getting better in the game faster but you cannot afford booking coaching on my Patreon, you can access more than 627 VOD reviews, premium videos about how to wave management, mid game macro, and tire lists that will show you the best champions to climb and to improve for your ELO. And these are not on YouTube, this is only on Patreon, they're exclusive. This is just five dollars. Go ahead and check it right now. I can match her by. Basically, okay. Get so, so, if you're pushing the wave, you're crushing, you can't match her by. I can, but I first option is faster. Okay, <laughs> I'll have to lean. Uh, Good, it's with faster. A yeah. Wait, so right now you're gonna lean with a disadvantage? If I don't recall, I, I, I think, yeah. So, if you don't recall, what are you gonna do here? <clears throat> If I don't recall, I w if I didn't recall, I would have uh, slow pushed. How many waves? Two waves. Yeah. Uh, the first one. Yes. The first one that comes then, and yes. I hard shove the second. Yes. Okay. 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 Um. Hmm. So you're saying that? So what holds you back from doing that? The 300 gold that I have, and the, the idea of matching Jinx at all times, like going. Uh, so what you're saying is that alone. what you're saying is that you prefer recalling with 300 gold, and recalling at the same time instead of recalling with 360 or 450 gold and recalling a little bit le like later. That's what you're saying right now, right? Yeah, this is a mistake, right? Exactly, it is a big mistake, yeah. because in this position, no matter where Jinx is. You really need to push the wave unless one you're gonna die instantly by pushing let's say you're super low hp which is not the case at all or two um let's say you have zero push power and it's a cannon wave and you have a huge amount of gold which is not the case as well right. so you should always 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 consider pushing the wave before recalling always unless something like dying or you know, you have 3k gold already and it's a cannon wave and you can't push it in time. Unless that's the case, you should always push the wave. Plus here, there are situations where you're not sure if you can crush. And you just need to slow push one wave and then crush the next one. Which is sometimes good. But in this specific case, what are we talking about? Kai'Sa with Trash. It's a non-cannon wave. They are right here right now. It's not even close. You hard crush a long time before they get there. They're going to be here when you crush. Yeah. So this yeah, is a very, very bad decision. Execution damage on my Q and the minions. Exactly. Yeah. So this is very, yeah, very bad. This, this is very huge. Because yeah. if we... Losing the, it's a losing lane mistake if they are... Yeah, right. look. Look at this. You see 20 CS ahead. There is no reason yeah. for her to be 20 CS ahead. No reason. At any point in time. This is a huge mistake. Because you know, 80 carries, like how is the goal right now? Just 400 gold up on you. It's a kill and a half. Yeah, that's uh, two waves. So the, 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 the recall timing is very, very, very... We need to work on this. This is like caps lock. <coughs> yeah, this is mostly the one. But the obvious ones, after I get a kill, push and recall that, uh, those are fine. Yes, but yes, yes, yes. The, uh, the tricky ones. Like, so here the rule of thumb okay. like the rule of thumb here is if you're able to push in time without dying you should always consider pushing because you recall with one you recall with more money two you crash the wave into the tower and it slow pushes into you and the main factors to decide this <coughs> is uh, my health my support where is he the enemy jungler and stuff like that right the main factor is um how fast you can push and how many items you have but if it's a non-cannon wave, on any champion you can just push. Any champion. 
Because even if you play Kogmo, it's a non cannon wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But would I push here with 20% health? Let's see. With 20% health? So, can they kill you? As you're pushing? Can the bot lane kill you right now? As you're pushing? Uh, no. It's impossible. Okay. It's impossible because they're in base. Can Fiddle 6 kill you reliably in this case if you stay with 20%? <clears throat> uh, with Trash, no. I don't think. And even without Trash, what is he gonna do? Walk at you? You're gonna back off. You're not gonna. It's Fiddlesticks. Yeah. Fiddlesticks, oh, Shivana. Him, yeah. he, he cannot... <clears throat> I mean, okay, if you're thinking about, okay, he's gonna go in Alcove, and I mean, sure, he's gonna, you're gonna die, but how many times you're gonna get this gang? Yeah. It's very... So you need to consider who is the enemy jungle. There is a difference if it's Elise. There is a difference if it's Shivana. Shivana, fucking useless. Elise, OP. So in either way, in this specific case, even if you're 20% HP, because you're so close to the tower, you should always take a little bit of a risk and push the wave. Very, very important. Yeah, so this is by far the biggest mistake that you're doing. Look at this. And it will happen again and again. And now, wave is slow pushing to Jinx. And she's pushing. What the fuck? She's pushing this. Oh, if, yeah, that's what I thought. I, I said thank god. If this is Actually, LVS, we, we, if this is LVS, she has 35 farm, we have 16. Here, yeah. This is gonna be the farm. Yeah, yeah. I will stay 16 like, I think, 3 minutes. And then she just pushes, yeah. wow, this is big. Big mistake. Yeah, I actually thought uh, I said I realized my mistake when I was uh, walking to the lane. And I, after I saw her rocketing like a maniac, I said, thank god. <laughs> okay, okay, I got okay. bailed out by her. Okay, try to push this one. Okay, let's talk about this recall. So you come back in the lane. Good. You go you go there. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> He's staying in the lane, you know V2, Trash went mid. All good, all good, all good. Yeah, this is actually happens very very this trash was uh, okay but <clears throat> Some supports like leave me for seven minutes alone. <laughs> it happens two out of let's say three out of five games. I don't yeah. know how to deal with that. I cannot do anything, and they die me, of course. <laughs> yeah, like if they are just gonna leave the country too much, if the support is gonna leave, maybe you can ping once. But if they're not gonna follow, it's like nothing you can do. What you can do is manage your wave better, because if you manage your wave better and you have clean decal timings, they'll probably even if they roam. You're gonna be safe because the wave is always, always in a neutral or positive position for you. But if support is doing this shit and you're also having garbage recall timings, it's easy lose. It's done, yeah. It's exactly. Like <laughs> okay, so you push this Jinx was mid. Okay, you have one K gold. Did you? Th okay. <clears throat> I don't know why we thought about this. So you just played this game, right? Yeah. The last one. So you take this the wave. That's fine. Good. Good. Okay, what should you be thinking right now? Shoving the wave. And uh, recalling, yeah. True. Because I have my own wave. So what stopped you from doing that here? The pings. The bliss kind I saw him at uh, the dragon. Okay, so you, you say that you were you were aware of the fact that you kind of need to recall here. Yeah, I was while I was pushing the wave, but then they, they Diana popped the plant and then I... Changed That's good. Mind. That's good. The reason why you changed your mind is... It's because the fight is about to happen. Yes, well, first of all, they started Drake. They are on it. Yeah. They are not around it they... and doing nothing. They are around it, but they committed for it. And Diana is also like close to it. So in this case, it's good that you followed. Let's see. Here, I think I, sh I should have killed this clank. I think I cancelled one out one. I backpedaled. I clicked back when I shouldn't have. <clears throat> and you can also exhaust here instantly. Maybe he has flash. So if you exhaust now, even with flash, he, he doesn't escape. If you don't think you can kill him. I cancelled a few auto decks. 
Okay, then you just I eat in a bad time, yeah, you cannot really auto attack in the animation of E, right? Well let's I see. eat when I exhaust the feed. I know, I know, but you needed E because he's forty percent attack speed, it is not bad. Like yeah, this is fine. This is okay. You actually try to space the Q of the fiddle. That's fine. No, actually no. I did it. Uh, uh, because you're scared. Autopilot. Yeah, but it's yeah. good because if you see fiddle, you can't know if he has Q or not unless you see that he uses it on anyone else. I don't hey, Betsa, welcome. Q does, to be honest. Is it the fear? Yes, yeah, yes, yes, the fear. Yes. Yeah, I don't think you particularly so play here, it. Uh, yeah. So I, I, then I saw the Pantheon is coming and I just build up. And this is another huge chance. mistake. You're recalling here. What should you be looking at when you're recalling here? The wave, yeah. But you have one gold. What should I be looking for? The Longweaver. True. So you recall now? Because you have a long sword, you can get a long quiver. Yeah, isn't it a good recall? It's not, right? I mean, if you get no quiver, what is the disadvantage? No, not, not. Maybe I lose, I lose the wave that's coming. Because okay. push is really hard. So first of all, you, okay. So, are you concerned of losing one wave here? No. Okay, why? I didn't at the time. Now. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I'm gonna lose because Jinx has too much uh, push power. Yeah, like, yeah. if you should look at the Jinx and if she's pushing, which she does. It's not even a cannon wave. Yeah. And it's not even a cannon wave, so on a cannon wave, maybe you could have recalled for a significant item like Noon Quiver. It wouldn't be that bad. But if it's a non cannon and also you play against a champion that has a lot of wave clear and you know she's gonna crush in time, you should not recall. You should stay for one more wave. This is very bad. This is horrible. Yeah. What is like what is happening in the game though? Because nothing happened in the lane. Like you guys didn't even fight to be two, but you're 20 years uh, behind by default. So it's like it's like you're bronze two player, and then you're playing against a silver one. And by default, the silver one is just better. You play against a friend, and he's just so good. Even though you guys didn't fight, it's because he has something better than you by default. That's the jinx. Her recalls are better than yours, so she has by default agency in the lane. Because nothing happened, we didn't fight, we didn't do anything. Jinx has two assists, okay, 100 gold. But you're 700 gold almost behind. Yeah. Super big. I see. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. So your recall timings are definitely holding you back really hard. You're too scared to recall. You're taking recalls way too fast. Yeah, we need to... You need to always think about pushing the wave if it's possible. And try to... Even if it's not a hundred percent free, if it's sixty percent free, you can sh you can sh you should still push because you're playing way too safe. You're always playing doing a hundred percent place, and here you just reset. Let's see for what you reset here. Eight hundred and forty-two recall. We can't kill her into the tower. There's no one on the river. You're playing weak side, so the recall is good. Okay. Do you watch like pro players or something like uh, on eight carry? Yeah, I try to watch uh, whenever value to four seven streams. Uh, the value? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. The player? Yeah, the okay, okay, his okay. name is value two four seven. I think he's a coach also. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's fine. If you watch value, you can learn his his decals, but. Yeah, it doesn't feel like... Is he explaining when he's streaming? Not really. Yeah. Sometimes. When the game gets hard, he doesn't explain anymore. Okay, okay, okay. But I also watched some uh, Saber. Fix, FSM, Saber. The Caitlyn guy. Do you know him? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Did you watch my series Grandmaster, like uh, Ananketo Grandmaster? Well, uh, you playing? Yes. No, I, I only watched you coaching other people. These are very good videos for what problems you have. 
because here I even if it's like other patches, you can learn learn your record timings. Yeah, the minions are the same. Yeah, so definitely this is something that you should do and i will give you other options as well because there is no way you're gonna get out of diamond with these recalls you're gonna get out of diamond next day you're gonna be d4 because this is very very bad yeah so the problem is that you're always recalling like without really thinking about pushing the wave or like you're too scared or like you're overestimating where the enemies are and stuff like that yeah this is the thing i always think that the jungler is here when i don't see it i don't see it yeah okay so this is a big problem and we have another big problem in the later stages okay so let's go step by step though right now you how much gold do you need to recall on like you need to think about it now right now a thousand okay for the good static so that doesn't mean if we have a thousand we almost always recall because sometimes is that in a fight or you need to stay or they're pushing the wave and you're forced to stay you can stay but that means you you're, you're thinking about it Okay, let's see. Is the fact that you stayed here good? Yeah. Why? I think it is. Why? Because uh, I didn't have the money. True. I want to, 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 to get another reason as well. fact that they stayed here the... they stayed also yeah jinx stayed jinx stayed okay you don't have the money what should we be doing right now right now i should wait i think or recall instantly recall instantly why because I have the money and the lane is... Uh... True, but don't you just want to push so the the wave is coming into you? Yeah, that's also one. Okay. So usually you want to push the wave. You prefer always to come into you. If it's possible to push before, before recording, it's always preferable. But mm -hmm. there are some rules that I call them break the game rules. As in, one, if you are very low hp and you know that you might die like reliably you're gonna die by pushing you don't stay ever two if you have a huge significant item in base you can consider not pushing before you recall you can consider losing like one wave if it, if you're forced to so in other words here no matter what gold you have Usually, if you don't have static shift or something significant, you always want to push. Because Jinx probably just recalled and pushing before recalling is better if you're safe to do it. But in this specific situation, you should just recall because you have the gold. So do you see this game? Every single recall, you did the opposite thing that you should do. Like, why are we pushing? I mean, okay, there is an advantage that waves coming into you slowly, but now you lose a little bit of tempo. And tempo in this specific situation is important. You pushed and you got the extra dagger. Was it worth? Well... You can nope. see now. And you also lose a plate. Yeah, this is this is just early game. You are 800 gold behind. You're, you're three kills, three, almost three kills behind. And we're not going to see that Jinx has just three assists.